what I'm doing here. I'm just going to do a little bit of a nice, loose, lazy texture on Sarah. I started off with a kind of a V-shaped, almost kind of horseshoe with a little bit more point to it. I separated this visually into three parts. I cut a little bit more square in the center, and then I angled that a little bit longer on each side, something we're all kind of familiar with. And then I want to come back up into the top, and I want to start to use my razor to layer um, at a high elevation some things that uh, you know can be tricky with the razor. Um, cutting it natural full with the razor is usually more comfortable for people. But in this case, I'm coming up, working over the hand. First coming through and um, putting some slices or some weight removal in here before I take off the length. Then I want to keep the length that I just cut at the bang as, you know, basically the longest part and then layer out to that point. So again, removing all that weight, keeping the length that I just cut, but putting in lots and lots of fun little layers here. Working through to the second part of this area, use a little bit of that previously cut hair as a guideline. Get my fingers into the angle again. Remember to kind of take out some of that weight first, I call that slicing just to remove channels or bars of weight, and then layer the ends with a medium stroke. That's the size of the movement of the blade. And make sure you keep your outline. Okay, so again, back to this weekend, super excited. Um, it's Hairbrain's first return to a live event, hard to imagine, uh, but the last time we did this was in 2020, part of the ISSE show. Um, always been my favorite show in the country, number one, because it's in Southern California, which I've always loved even before I lived here. And then number two, it's just something about this show is so hairdresser centric, you know, run by the PBA, which is our association. Um, and they just really know how to kind of put a show together that has the interest of the hairdresser first and foremost. So there'll be, it'll be Saturday and Sunday, the 25th and the 26th. Um, tickets are still available if you go to the PBA site. Um, if you want to come to Teach In, Teach In is a separate ticket. Those are available at hairbrain.pro, which is our online site for tools and whatnot. And I'll talk a little bit about the tools I'm using here. Tickets are $75. That includes the meetup, um, which is beforehand, it's become kind of a famous tradition of getting people together to really just have kind of an incredible time and then we go into the theater and have um, 90 minutes of education and the lineup is fantastic uh, we've got 13 icons and educators um, I'm not going to name them all 13 right now but I'll just say a few names Lupe Voss, DJ Muldoon, Philip Wilson, uh, Sana Brado, Robert Cromines, Jacob Kahn, um, Tabitha Duenas. I can keep going but just head to the site hairbrain.pro and check out the tickets. Okay, so you can see I'm starting to layer into the side now. So I layered the face, very, very simple. What was layered up here. Now, right beneath it, I'm just taking vertical sections and they'll start to pivot a little bit as I get into the back and uh, bringing them straight up to the ceiling using the outline length that was existing here. I did a quick little trim up on the outline before we started because um, I knew that was, you know, the length that I wanted to work with. And I really wanted to just focus on the internal shape for you guys coming up. Not doing as much slicing through here. Um, just really coming in and getting the, the layering in and looking at the movement. This is a Sarah mannequin and they've just got incredible wave and texture. So they're great for these kind of mid-length textured cuts. Uh, these are made by Pivot Point, our friends at Pivot Point. And I, I love the Sarah, especially for anything that's going to have kind of a bit of a shaggier texture. Just want to take a minute and say hello to everyone watching. Uh, Sid is here with us, as well as Milo, and an uh, awesome audience. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in and hanging out with us. So it seems like we've got some friends from around the world. I wish you guys were all here in Southern California this weekend, so we could kind of really all get back together once and for all for uh, a hair show. You know, it's really the, it'll be the first one I've been to since 2020 when you know our friend covid appeared um you know so we're super excited 
and just excited to see all of our all of our friends together in one place. Okay, working my way through. Very, very simple. Looking to see how the layers from the top are kind of cascading over and what happens with the hair that's kind of been framed in here. Now, you know, with, with this position with the razor, um, I really like to cut from the inside out. Um, so I'll just kind of, rather than changing my body position, you know, the razor is great at cutting from short to long, but it's not great at cutting from long to short. Um, so I'll just keep working my way around following this guide. There's been really no over direction on these sections. They've just been brought up, elevated up and sliced into. A lot of the perimeter drops out and then we'll come back and work that as kind of our more visual signature. But again, you can see these layers, simple, effective, great way to just really open up the hair and bring out its movement. Uh, if anyone's watching is gonna be at uh, Teach-In or ISSC or both this weekend, uh, let us know. Now, uh, we've partnered with ISSC now. I guess this is probably, I'm going to say the eighth or ninth time. It's hard to keep count with that little bit of COVID break. Um, and uh, we've really taken this event year after year and grown it and turned it into something that is kind of, you know, I know it's dear to my heart, dear to a lot of people's hearts, um, especially here in the kind of Southern California, all the hairdressers get a chance to really get together to come to a meetup, have a drink, of their choice, uh, connect with friends, old coworkers, new friends, meet some of the educators, and really just get a chance to enjoy themselves. So again, if you're around, join us this weekend for the ISSE show, and Saturday night we'll be at the main stage of the Long Beach Convention Center, rocking out our teaching. Uh, Milo, Maximovich is here, he's wondering, um, Gerard, do you see LA hair fashion uh, more suiting to your liking compared to New York City? And he wishes he could be with here with us this weekend. Oh, I don't know. I think it's also universal now. I mean, I'd have to say New York as a hair town is probably the most boring town um, in my experience. You know, I mean, I've worked there for many years. I have clients there. It's a pretty conservative town when it comes to fashion, I think. Um, so I'll say pretty much any town to me is more exciting than New York when it comes to hair fashion. Um, California, in a different way, you know, I mean, people here are a little bit more open, um, a little bit more welcoming of kind of loose things that, you know, can be, I guess, as we say, a bit more beachy. Um, but, you know, I don't know. It's, it's a mixed bag, takes all kinds. But I will say in my experience, although I, you know, I love my clients in New York, I have a great clientele, still go there every month to do clients. But overall, as, as a city, I don't know. I mean, they're very business oriented. I think so. I mean, you know, maybe if you're an art student and you don't pay for your haircuts, maybe there's some fun there. But I don't have too many art students who don't pay for their haircuts as my clients. So I'm coming through now to the longest point, kind of where the corner is at the base of these layers. And you know, you don't wanna leave that corner on or you don't wanna leave it exactly as is um, or it'll just be kind of clunky. So by coming through just more straight out from the head instead of elevating it up like that, I look at where the outline length is and I start to put some slicing right there to break up the corner. And I'll bring that all the way around right to the face. Very simple, cutting with some product in the hair to me with this kind of cutting makes all the difference. I've got some Bumble and Bumble tonic in the hair, some Bumble and Bumble grooming cream to give that hair that languid kind of lived in texture that's so perfect. Now, it doesn't seem like a big deal what I just did, but look at the side that I did compared to the side that hasn't been done. You know, when you leave the corner on, it's gonna be a lot clunkier um, and it's not gonna move as well. You know, the only time I would leave that corner is if let's say that hair is very, very fine but then I probably wouldn't have layered it this much to begin with. It's all about knowing your texture. Let's talk about tools. I know a lot of uh, you have been waiting to buy tools. So if you go into the show, I think a lot of great vendors will be there for scissors, combs, brushes. We won't have a booth this year. We're so occupied with teaching um, that we won't have a booth, but we are still available online. 
Um, if you're looking for any new combs, clips, scissors, you can always head to hairbrain.pro and that's where you'll get your teach-in tickets as well. So just bringing this straight out between the length and where the layering was and just what I call slicing, but just on the ends. Because I don't want to make this skinny. I just want to take out the clunk, take out the junk in the haircut's trunk right here. Breaking that up a little bit. It's getting a little dry here, so I'll use a little bit of the tonic lotion just right in here to keep the dampness in the hair. From Bumble and Bumble, some uh, of my Hannah, favorite. And Hannah Ruth Evans just popped on and she's saying that she's currently practicing the cut for Saturday. I'm sure. Scene. So she's Hannah is uh, one of our educators gonna be on stage. Um, she's uh, from Atlanta, from Van Michael. She's the artistic director of the uh, world-renowned Van Michael Salons down in the Atlanta area and so excited. Uh, I've been fortunate enough that since she's been a pretty young hairdresser, she's been in my orbit. Uh, we were on stage together once at a very wonderful event from my dear friend Baker, where I guess I was the old guy and she was the young upcoming star was his idea. And uh, we're so thrilled to have her join us this weekend for teaching. She's gonna be part of an awesome lineup, very fun stuff. Okay, so we've got the bang, layered the bang, came through, layered all this hair, softened up the corner. Now we're gonna work more deliberately through the bottom. Again, slicing, but now slicing horizontally. Again, just on the ends here, I'm kind of trying to keep some weight in the middle area there so it just doesn't look too, too kind of gutted out. Fine teeth of the comb for great tension using the tip of the blade in a slicing motion and really just getting that detail in around the edge. Not so much here below the ear, I just kind of skipped that whole area, but then we'll come up around the face and we'll do a little bit here, kind of meeting up with our fringe. Squeezing a little bit more, I cut with a bit of tonic and a bit of grooming cream from Bumble and Bumble, some of my old favorites. Especially when cutting this way with the razor very visually. I'll just squeeze some of that. This is just pure moisture, you know? We want to keep that hair kind of damp. That's kind of part of the style. I mean, even when the hair is dried, uh, whether I let it dry naturally or kind of use a diffuser or put her under a heat lamp or something like that. I want to keep a sense of moisture in the hair to activate that movement and that wave. Same thing, a little bit of slicing. We need to do some now on the second side, on the perimeter. Back, a little bit of tonic here, just like we did on the first side to dampen and reactivate. You know, hair shows, I think, um, you know, obviously had a hard time through COVID. They weren't able to happen, and, but I know we're all ready for it. We're ready to get together again, to see all the educators and all the friends and all our old coworkers and meet new people. And uh, if you're anywhere in Southern California, that's what you want to do this weekend. It's in Long Beach at a great convention center Great hotels, if you haven't booked a hotel yet. I don't know if anything's still available. They usually sell out pretty quick. Um, but there's definitely a lot going on. And with teaching, we believe in, you know, inspiration, education, celebration. So being together, sharing new ideas, that's really where the inspiration comes from, the education. Well, that's, you know, learning from these artists while they're on stage, learning from each other. And then the celebration, that's the meetup. That's an hour at the very beginning of teaching um, where we have a bar and those who want to grab a drink can grab a drink and talk and network and connect. And it's right outside the stage where we're gonna then go in and have our live event. And of course, you know, the whole weekend is just phenomenal. Um, a chance to 
you know, check out your favorite vendors. There's lots of classes. I mean, obviously teaching is, is uh, an, an evening event and a class that happens in the evening, but there are lots and lots of classes going on. If you go to the Pro Beauty Association website, you can see uh, the dozens and dozens of classes that you can go to. Some are included with your tickets, some are additional, but really something you wanna check out. So coming through, now just working kind of free form. I've let the hair dry off a little bit naturally with the product that's in it. And now I'm just looking, pinching the hair and doing a little bit of a motion with the flat of the blade here to just kind of finish up the edge of my layering. Just very, very loose, you know, I've moved it around, changed the parting, I often do that as I start to refine. I don't think, you know, people should be locked into just one way of pushing their hair, uh, especially not with a haircut like this. It's all about being able to move it around. Oh, Megan Woodard is saying hello, as well as uh, Dennis Dutori saying, looking good, Gerard. Yeah, excellent. I wish you guys were all here this weekend in, in Southern California for the Long Beach Hair Show, the ISSE show, and you can join us at Teachin'. Um, you know, we're gonna try, obviously, now that it seems like the world's getting a little bit closer to health or whatever we want to call it. Um, we want to try to get back out there and do live events again. So we'll come to different cities. You know, in the past we've done many, many cities, including Chicago, where I believe Dennis is from. Um, so hopefully we'll be, we'll be back out there on the road again, working with our different partners, our brand partners, and all the incredible educators that we love. So pretty close to the finish here, you know, um, simple but effective way of haircutting here, you know, again, um, I, I always say that what I did here, it's very kind of free form in a way, but without a basis of precision haircutting and understanding body position, elevation, tension, you know, this can go south pretty quick. So I don't recommend that you go, oh, that just looks like an easy way to cut hair. I'm going to do that because it, you know, it can really turn into something hard to control. Um, but if you've got the control and the dexterity, you've learned how to handle a razor, um, you can do some pretty cool stuff and you can kind of begin to cut loose a little bit. Well, there you have it. Very simple, kind of layered look with a fringe and a face frame, layered through, detailed with the razor, as well as cut with the razor.